Hey everybody and thanks for coming back to my channel. So today we're going to do 32 things to do in San Francisco. So right now I'm going to go pick up Ariel, go to the airport and arrive in San Francisco. So all the things that we're going to do will be done in two days. Half of today, which is Friday, the whole day tomorrow of Saturday and half of Sunday. So yeah, it's all going to be done under two days. Check out the stops that we're going to make and I'm going to put the name of each location that we're going to make in the description box below. Let's go! First stop we made once we arrived in San Francisco is Twin Peaks. The view at night is amazing. Make sure to bring a warm sweater because it is very cold and windy up there. Next stop is Japantown. Great stop to check out. There is a west side and east side of the mall. There are many restaurants to choose from. Parking in the parking structure was a little difficult to find. Union Square, it's like an outdoor mall with many awesome stores to shop. This is a great stop to walk around. Ferry building is the next stop and inside you will find pictures and history on how the ferry building was built. Also inside, you will find great places to eat. The Ghirardelli Square. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, but their chocolate is pretty good. Go inside and totally try some. They have so many choices to choose from. I promise that Lombard Street looks much prettier in the spring with all the green and blooming flowers. We went during winter in the month of January, but definitely a spot to check out and it's a total must that you drive down that road. So next on the list that we have is the Painted Lady, so they're right here behind me. There they are. You may recognize this from the intro of the show, Full House. This was really cool, and it's a great place to stop by and take a few pictures. Alcatraz Prison is a definite must. Make sure to buy tickets in advance from the website directly because there are so many websites and they're not legit and scam people. I will provide the official Alcatraz Cruises round trip in the description box below. Allow yourself about 3 hours to explore the whole island because there is so much to see. We're taking you to prison. And the self-guided tour includes a headset that explains everything in the prison and outside the prison, along with two stories from inmates.
If you have any additional questions about Alcatraz, there are many workers there that will be happy to answer them for you. We went to go eat at Boudin and we went to go buy bread that was shaped like turtles, bears, crocodiles, and many others. It's a very cool spot. This stop was weird. Very different, not something you'd expect, but very awesome. These machines are coin operating showing things from the 1800s until present day. Check them out. Alright, so we got we got five dollars worth of quarters. So we're gonna go and just play a bunch of them. Alright, let's do this. There it is. Oh what? Take life too seriously. No, you don't. Don't be so this mine. See this one. She literally looked into my eyes. Yeah. Or how do I play this one? This one's good. Which one are you picking? Walter Wade. Right, if you lose, you have to buy me ice cream. Okay, buy us ice cream. Cheater! Is it a spice <laughs> you with two, two arms and can. They have so many cool little games here. Uh, the fortune ones are pretty cool. And there's other ones that are just so weird, but it's pretty cool. And the cool thing too is that they do have regular games. So you can play like pinball and Pac-Man and other stuff like that. Even air hockey. But a uh, majority of them are just like really weird games. But I think they're very interesting and I like interesting and weird. So that's why. Exploratorium is an awesome museum that helps you explore the world through science, art, and human perception. There are many hands-on activities that are very fun and entertaining. Allow yourself about two to three hours to explore the whole museum. So the next stop that we have here is Exploratorium, so we're gonna go check it out. We got our tickets, let's go see what they got. Like this. It looks dirty. Nancy. There is an experiment where you can compete with your friends on how quiet you can be when walking on gravel. Your scores will display. Check it out.
I seriously spent so much time here trying to explore everything they had. Chinatown is the next stop, such a great location to walk around. In Chinatown, make sure to stop by this fortune cookie factory. It's not only unique because you can watch them make the cookie for you, but you can personalize the fortune inside the cookie to give to friends and family. We went during Lunar New Year, so it was very crowded. This building is very unique, and it has 48 floors. It's also the second tallest skyscraper in San Francisco. We came late to this tower, but you are allowed to climb to the top during the day. There are three portals, East Portal, Female Lion, West Portal, Male Lion, and Center Portal. East reads Respect and Love, West reads Trust and Peace, Center reads All Under Heaven is for the Good of the People. So the next stop is the Palace of Fine Arts, so I'm here now, so I'll show you what it looks like, and this is a great spot to stop by. So the next stop is the wave organ. So the waves are supposed to hit the tubes and it will go into there and there 
and it's supposed to sound like an organ, the instrument. So yeah, the wave organ is a really cool place to stop by. Oh shoot, I almost fell. And you can also see the Golden Gate Bridge from here too. Let's see if we can hear the, the organ a little. The Golden Gate Bridge is a must. If you have time, drive through the bridge. It's very nice. This is the view when you cross it. And now we're here at uh, Kirby Cove. So there's a trail that we're running and uh, yeah, let's go check out the view. So I'm here at Kirby Cove, and there used to be a swing somewhere around here, but they took it down, so... Uh, but the view is still great. The Golden Gate Welcome Center is great to learn about the history of the Golden Gate Bridge and it's also a great place to take pictures. The Presidio is a huge park with many things to do and see. One of the many things to do in Presidio is this Walt Disney Family Museum. So next on the list we have Lion Steps. So you have to climb down the steps or even up the steps. And then there's a little heart there. Oh, I, I clicked the screen like if you can see it. Uh, no, it's just right here. So we're here at Land's End Labyrinth. It's a 10 minute walk down and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool uh, rock formation that they have down there. Golden Gate Park is also super huge and many things to see and do. This place is very interesting and a great stop to stop by. There is an entrance fee here. Still inside the Golden Gate Park, Dutch Windmill is pretty cool to check out. These steps were super awesome and very creative. and some more creative steps. So the next one's pretty cool. This one's called the Hidden Garden Steps. So it's just a bunch of paintings that go across all the steps. Super, super cool. So yeah, that's the end of the things to do in San Francisco. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.
Thank you.